Hi, welcome back. Today's lesson is called Counting 10 Frames, something we're great at. Today you will fluently recognize teen numbers and show ways to make teen numbers. Let's warm up a little. I have another question for you. Which number is less? Think about what the word less means and take a look at our two numbers today. As soon as you know, say the number's name. Yes, 10 is less. Remember, less means a smaller value. When we're counting in counting order, we say 10 before we say the number 15 because the number 10 is less. Great job. We're going to play a game with some 10 frame cards. But first, we're going to think about what we've learned about double 10 frames and look at those cards quickly. I'm going to show you one of those cards. Tell me what number you see as fast as possible. And of course, it's going to be tricky because remember when we looked at the red dots and the blue dots yesterday? Well, this is a deck of blue dot and red dot cards that are mixed together. Ready? Here we go. What number do you see? 10 and some more? 13. Did you think of our trick from yesterday? 10 and some more, 19. Ten and some more, fourteen. Ten and one more, eleven. Ten and one more again, another eleven. Very good. How'd you do? Could you see those numbers quickly? Great job today. All right, now let's look at some plain, plain 10 frame cards. I'm going to put three of them on the screen. Our goal is to take a look at their numbers and figure out a strategy of how we can add them together quickly. Ready? Here's our three cards. Hmm. Let's say the numbers names. I see three, seven, and four. Okay, what are some ways we could add these? What do you think? Mm. We could count by ones. We could just count all the dots. That's true. Do you think there's a faster way that we could add these together? Hmm. Like, do you see a way to make a group of 10? Remember, 10's an easy number to add off of. Let's see. Oh, I do. Look here. This seven card has three spots open to make a group of 10, but then we have a three over here that has three dots on it. If we put these two cards together, they would equal 10. Yeah, three and seven equals 10. Great, okay, now we have this four. Wait, this is like doing 10 and some more. If we know that three and seven make 10, now we're adding together 10 and four. What is 10 and four more equal? Yeah, 14. Yes, very good. Let's read our number sentence at the bottom together. Ready? Three plus seven plus four equals 14. Great job. We didn't even have to count on our fingers one time. Excellent. When we add three numbers together, which we're allowed to do in math, this is a third addend. It's great because we can find ways to add them quickly where our brain doesn't have to count every single dot. 
Let's try another one. These are like fun math challenges. I'm going to put three new cards on the screen. See if you can find any strategies to help us count the dots quickly. Ready? Okay, let's see. Hmm. So with the last set of cards, we practiced making 10, and we also practiced 10 and some more. Can we use either one of those strategies here? That's true. We have a 10. We could do 10 and some more with the other numbers. Oh, but we could also do making 10? Sure, look at this eight and this two. Could we fit those two numbers together to equal 10? Let's look. There's two spots open and there's two dots that can fill those spots. That would be perfect. Let's put eight and two together and eight plus two will equal a whole 10 frame, which is 10. Okay, now our goal is to take that 10 with our last card, which is another 10, and see what these three cards equal together. Well, hey, that's a doubles fact. A doubles fact is when we add the same number to itself. So 10 plus 10, because we repeated the same number, equals Right, that equals 20. Very good. Let's read our uh, equation at the bottom. Ready? 8 plus 2 plus 10 equals 20. Very good. Great job looking at more 10 frames today and practicing some of our adding strategies.